So what we have right here is Arapaho Basin's second notch. Now this is one of the gnarlier entrances I've ever seen at a ski resort. So the entrance to this run is so narrow and so rock riddled that you actually have to down climb into the entrance through a rope. So you finally, you basically go up this little hike. You gotta take off your skis to get to this one. Then you can see this is extremely narrow and very, very treacherous. So let's climb in. This rope is a must have. The big problem here, carrying your skis and your poles, plus holding onto this rope. You need to have incredible grip strength and very strong. You need to be very careful with your footing to make sure you don't slip. The rocks make this really difficult, but they are also your friend. You need to use them to stop yourself from sliding. But you can see how these, these knots are a must have. You can see just how insane this drop in is. Oh. Oh. Not easy at all. So, this is probably the hardest part right here. It's been a low snow here, so the rocks are a little less covered than usual. But, you know, if you're an expert, whew, a basin trusts you to get the job done. So, honestly right now, kind of using this pole to stop this rope, stop me. But this, uh, this rock is really what's keeping it from uh, actually letting go of me, this tension right here. So as you can see down there, it is not really clipped into anything. Woo! And as you can see, that you are not careful. That can happen to you. Huh. So, time to climb up and get my skis back. Dang. Huh. So, made it to most of my equipment. Now, one of my skis is here, but now I've just discovered the other skis all the way down there. So, gotta find a way to get down. Honestly thinking that one ski, skiing on one ski, it's probably the move here. Oh, it's a little steep for me to just slide down. Oh, but honestly, it's time to find out. Oh, or honestly, Probably just worth it to try to walk down. All right, the walking down was not that fun. I'm trying to do this with one ski. Skiing down this with one ski is not easy, but if you can get into the hop terms, it is possible. These left turns not do terrible. These right turns take a bit more effort. Oh.
you can see that guy's kind of doing it the right way. He kept his footing when he got to the bottom of the rope. That was the fatal mistake here. But getting down, this could have turned out a lot worse. Not injured. That was an insane fall. And it's been an insane trek back up. So I think I'm getting in the hang of this. Let me just finish this off. Another hop turn. Another quick turn. Hop. Woo. Getting a little icy down here, but this powder is making this a lot easier. All right. Just one more hop. Woo. Second ski. Well, that was an adventure. Time to get this baby on and finish this run. All right, so both skis on. Let's finish this run. You can just see from this angle just how crazy consistent that steep pitch is. With that entry, you basically have one of the highest consequence runs in probably all of North America. And you can see just the fact that my ski slid all the way down here just manifests how insanely steep this is. So let's finish it off. Hopefully no more issues. Woo! Very good snow. I will say. This powder is prime. A basin really gets that light dry stuff even more so than some other Colorado destinations. Just at a higher altitude, which really helps with snow preservation. All right. Getting down toward the bottom. But yeah, that was the second notch. I would really only recommend that for true experts who have experience down climbing into runs. That stuff is insanely high consequence and you could have a pretty nasty fall if you don't have your footing, just like I did. So be careful up there. For more information on Arapaho Basin and over 50 other destination ski resorts, including how they compare on challenge, check out peakrankings.com.